हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन वेलकम टू योर बायो क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टीन व्हाई डू वी फॉल इल इन दिस वीडियो लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन टेक्स्ट क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्टेट any two conditions essential for good health answer two conditions that are essential for good health are proper nutrition and balanced diet good social environment next question is state any two conditions essential for being free of diseases we can have answer like this two conditions essential for being free of diseases are personal plus community hygiene and vaccination against common infectious diseases next question is are answers to the above questions necessarily the same or different why the answers to the above questions can't be necessarily same to some extent they are same because if the conditions that are essential for good health are maintained then the chance of getting a disease would at automatically be minimized but at the same time they are different because a person may be free of disease but may not be mentally socially and economically sound next question is list any three reasons why you would think that you are sick and ought to see a doctor if only one of these symptoms were present would you still go to the doctor why or why not answer is the common symptoms which indicate sickness are as follows headache cough dysentery if only one of these symptoms are present we usually do not visit a doctor as it is not going to affect our general health but if any symptoms persist for longer time then we must visit a doctor to get proper treatment because if any symptoms persist for longer period of time will feel discomfort and it has to be removed it has to be treated so we should visit a doctor next question is in which of the following cases do you think the long term effects on your health are likely to be most unpleasant the first condition is if you get jaundice second is if you get lice and third is if you get acne why answer as jaundice is a chronic disease it has long term effects on our health the normal function of liver gets disturbed and it may take long time to get recovered from this disease in contrast to jaundice both lice and acne can be treated very easily using medicated shampoo and other ointments moreover the last two do not have any long term effects on our health so 
if we get jaundice it would be more unpleasant as compared to the other two cases let's see next question this is why are we normally advised to take bland and nourishing food when we are sick children bland food or bland diet includes food which are soft low in dietary fiber and less or almost no spicy let's see answer to this question sickness results in improper digestion ability loss of appetite and slow absorption of food so when we are sick we are normally advised to take bland and nourishing food as such foods can easily be digested and replenish our lost nutrients to produce energy next question is what are different means by which infectious diseases are spread different means by which infectious diseases are spread are as follows through air through consumption of contaminated food and water through sexual contact through vectors through affected persons clothes utensils etc next question is what precautions can you take in your school to reduce the incidence of infectious diseases let's see answer precautions that we can take in our school to reduce the incidence of infectious diseases are number 1 staying away from the infected student and it would be more appropriate by not allowing the affected students to attend the classes or attend the school till they recover from infectious diseases number 2 is covering of mouth or nose while coughing or sneezing which will prevent the spread of disease causing germs number 3 using drinking water from a purifier number 4 keeping the school environment clean to prevent multiplication of vectors as we all know that garbage is are good breeding places for vectors responsible for lot of diseases number 5 is vaccination of course because we all know that prevention is better than cure what is immunization the method to boost our immune system using vaccines that help our body to fight against infectious diseases is called immunization immunization develops the body's resistance power next question what are immunization programs available at the nearest health center in your locality which of these diseases are major health problems in your area the immunization programs available at the nearest health center in our locality are for preventing dpt diphtheria pertussis tetanus mmr measles mumps rubella polio opv jaundice hepatitis b and typhoid of all these diseases hepatitis b and typhoid are major health problems in my locality so children that's all for this video lesson in next video we'll go through the text questions of this chapter till then goodbye